In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the generators function within Shave Shy Express. Uh, currently on the screen, I've got the main fixtures window open with one fixture imported within the program. Shown here, you can see that I've imported the Intimidator Spot 360 in 14 channel mode. I've set the fixture to address 232 and physically set the address on the fixture to 232. At this point you want to make sure that the interface is connected into the computer to ensure that the data is passed to the light. We are now going to look at the generators tab at the top left hand of this screen. If we click on the generator tab it brings up this window. We want to then select the fixture we want to use in order to create a scene with. We click on the intimidator and it brings up this window. On the left hand side you can see different functions you can control using the generator function. We are going to be controlling the pan and tilt of this fixture. So we select the pan and tilt. You also want to ensure that we are outputting DMX to the light fixture and you can do that by clicking on this icon here. It will then turn green and you should be seeing that your light has moved into an idle position. For my case the moving head tilts up so it is pointing directly to the ceiling. Looking at this diagram you can see that the circle has a number one dot on the left hand side. This is the fixture's moving position and what sort of pattern it will follow. If I click the play you can see that the number one moves around in a circular motion. Looking at this cross shows the pan and tilt of the fixture. So currently this light will be doing a combination of both panning and tilting. You should see in the top right hand corner what the light should be doing. We want to create a figure of eight motion so the light can follow a specific. Uh, we are now going to create a figure eight motion within the lighting program. We can now take the circle that the program had created and we can move it into a figure of eight pattern. You can do this by dragging each of the points on the screen to suit what position the fixture is going to be facing. This is ideal for when you want to have the fixtures pointing directly in front or if you want to control where the fixture is moving. This is sort of ideal for if DJs wanted to stick a moving head on a totem or you just wanted to have it pointing forward and without any of the light spinning around behind and just projecting on a wall behind you. So we've created a figure of eight and we now are going to play the pattern and you should be seeing the light doing some different movements. You can change this pattern around to suit. Once you've set up your pattern you can then click the save icon at the top left. It will then bring up a dialog window which you can then call this pattern whatever you want. So we are going to call it fig8 and we're going to save that. If we then just click the new project it will then clear this window down. If you haven't saved it it will also prompt you to save it before it loses all of your work. If we then go to the live tab just going to remove this page when you greet when you enter the live tab you'll be greeted with just a blank screen like so you want to insert a page and we are going to call this movements hit enter and we are then going to import our figure of eight so if we go onto these this icon here click on add generator scene and we'll see our fig eight there push open and it then imports it into the live window.
we can then play this by simply clicking on the button and we can see that the light is now doing what we have programmed it to do.